Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some pretty cool looking wallpapers. Um, when you guys are done with making yours, I would really appreciate it if you were to upload your final outcome to Photo Bucket or Tiny Pick and leave the link in the comments so I can feature it in my blog and I will give credits to you. Alright, so let's get started here. We want to start a new canvas to make the brush. Go to file new, make a size of 700 by 700. Then we're going to make the background black. Going to select our elliptical parquet tool, start in the corner, press and hold shift to make sure that the size of the circle is just right. Then we're going to click and drag. Find a size that you like. I feel good with this one, so I'm going with this size. Now, you want to add a layer mask, which is the circle in a rectangle here next to the FX button. A layer mask just deletes anything and everything that's outside of what is selected. Then you want to set the fill of this layer to 50%, not the opacity because we're going to be adding a stroke onto it and we want the stroke to be a solid color. So set the fill to 50%, then you want to right click on your layer, blending options, stroke, size 10 pixels, position inside and color black. <clears throat> now that that's done, you want to go to edit, define brush preset. If yours, if your define brush preset is grayed out like mine, you want to just click on your layer once and it should show up. If it doesn't, leave a comment and I'll help you out. Name it, bubbly bunch of numbers. All right, now you can close this or save it for later use and you want to open up a new canvas you have to keep in mind now when choosing this size if is if uh, yeah that didn't make sense but if you're gonna be giving this wallpaper out to friends you want to make sure that the size is big so let's say I'm giving this out to that douchebag William aka lunatic 1920 by 1200 and this will give a good enough size no matter what resolution this guy is using. And you don't have to do this, but it's a pet peeve that I have. I name all of my layers. So in case I want to go back and look at what I was doing, I know what layer is which. Then I'm a color in this layer, a nice dark color. Doesn't ha it, Yours doesn't have to be dark. Do whatever makes you feel good. Alright, I'm going to fill this in. All right, so far so good. Look at that, nice back, nice little black background. Uh, I'm gonna make a new layer for the bubbles. Name it large. I'm gonna swap out the color so the main foreground color is white, and I'm gonna click on the brush tool. Now the brush that you made should be all the way at the end of your preset list, like mine is right here. Then if you test it out really quickly. Your brush looks plain, it's nasty, It's it, it, there's nothing to it. So let's fix that. Click on this, uh, it's the brush preset options. You wanna give it shape dynamics, size jitter at 100%, everything else at zero. Then you wanna give it scattering, uh, scatter at 1000, which is all the way up, count at five, and count jitter, uh, you don't have to use the one that I'm using, I go anywhere from 0 to 5%. You can use whatever. Then you want to do other dynamics. This will fade out some of the bubbles to make it look more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bubblicious. Yeah, that's it. Opacity and flow jitter, both at 50. And once you're done with that, you can exit out of that and then quickly test it out. As you can see, it looks better than that old plain crap. So let's undo that really quickly. Now, this part is all about preference. Just click a few times. Make sure that your brush is large. Click a few times on, on here. Get some big bubbles going on there. If you don't like what you're doing, just Control Alt Z it and pick something that you do like. All right, I like this somewhat. All right, cool. Now, after you're done doing that, you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set this at 20. Then we're going to make a new layer. We're going to call it Medium. This will be our medium 
sized bubble so let's size down our brushes you can either use it by going here setting it or use the brackets next to the enter button and the P button so I'm gonna just do the same thing randomize it do whatever makes you feel good click just do a single yeah just do a few single clicks as you can tell I'm a little lost all right so now that you got what you like you want to hold on hmm I don't really like this it's a little too mashed up there in the, in the middle all right that's better so once you're done doing that you want to do the Gaussian blur again but on a different level this time it's at four so that's filter blur Gaussian blur four then you want to do one more which is small size down your brush some more randomize it once again all right then once you got that you want to blur it again but this time do it at one so that's filter blur Gaussian blur one all right now like I said I like to keep things in order here I'm a little layer not I guess you can call it a layer Nazi I'm gonna create a group name it bubble brushing and I'm gonna put the next three brushes I mean the next three layers that has the brushes in them in that group now I'm gonna create a new layer this is where the the spiciness comes in the color I'm gonna name this gradient and we're gonna pull out our gradient tool if you don't know how you want to right click on the paint bucket and there it is the gradient tool now I have already now I have a few already made uh, gradients that didn't come with Photoshop if you want them there's a link to them in the descript in the uh, description so I'm gonna use this rainbowish one I'm gonna before I apply any gradient here I'm gonna set this layer to overlay and then I'm just gonna zoom out this is personal preference here and I'm just gonna find something that I like here alright I'm down with that once you find something that you like you can mess with the blending mode see if there's anything that looks weird or looks pretty pimpin I guess I don't know why I just said pimpin you know what I like the color burn one so that's your basic bubblelicious wallpaper I'm gonna add text I'm gonna put Ryan MB dot net although the text is black let's change that zoom in a hundred percent Ryan MB dot net put this at around 69 48 there we go then uh, here's another little tip if you're if you're gonna be making a title with a caption under under it always make the caption smaller than the title it makes it look more sleek more professional I, I, I don't know it, it just makes it look better so cookies are dope I'm gonna position this make it smaller about 24 Let's make it a little bit smaller a little bit too big for my taste Co cookies are dope all right and I'm gonna add a little style to it stroke do, 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 black drop shadow Ooh, opacity down then a gradient this is just me messing it around here so that's basically it if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll help you out. Be sure to visit my blog. Um, if you want your outcome featured on my blog, uh, upload it, the link in the comment, and I'll put it along with this tutorial.